Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for today's video. Me and my friend Summer from Seasons Readings, our buddy reading, We Spread by Ian Reed. So I was really looking forward to reading this book because I really enjoyed, I'm thinking of ending things. I have not had a chance to read Faux yet, but I do want to go back and do so. But I'm really looking forward to this, so I entered the Goodreads giveaway. Unbeknownst to me, my friend Summer also entered the Goodreads giveaway and we both want a copy like it's fate that we both have this book so we're like we absolutely have to buddy read this so we are going to be buddy reading we spread by Ian Reed and in case you don't know what this book is about I want to go ahead and read the synopsis Penny an artist has lived in the same apartment for decades surrounded by the artifacts and keepsakes of her long life she is resigned to the mundane rituals of old age until things start to slip. Before her longtime partner passed away years earlier, provisions were made, unbeknownst to her, for a room in a unique long-term care residence where Penny finds herself after one too many accidents. Initially surrounded by peers, conversing, eating, sleeping, and looking out at the beautiful woods around the house, all is well. She even begins to paint again, but as the days start to blur together, Penny, with a growing sense of unrest and distrust, starts to lose her grip on the passage of time and on her place in the world. She is succumbing to the subtly destructive effects of aging, or is she an unknowing participant in something more unsettling? At once compassionate and uncanny and told in spare hypnotic prose, Ian Reed's genre-defying third novel explores questions of conformity, art, productivity, relationships, and what ultimately it means to grow old. So I think this is going to be a very emotional read for me. So I'm kind of really happy that Summer is buddy reading it with me and I will be able to have someone to share my intimate thoughts as I'm reading the story with. So we're going to be updating each other every like 25%. Um, I do have it on Scribd as well and it is very sparse. If you look through it has lots of white space. So I think it is going to be a quick read but I'm just so excited about it. So yeah, come along as I share my thoughts on We Spread by Ian Reed. I had to do a quick outfit change because it is still so hot here at the beach. Also, I wanted to show off my earrings. I got these from a little shop on Etsy called Sweet Love Clay, and I will have the Etsy shop linked down below, but I absolutely love these. I think they're so cute. <laughs> All right, friends, I thought I would offer a little update. I'm on page 33 and I'm loving it so far. I've already had to bust out the highlighter, which I put in my hair. You can barely see it right here, but, um, and I've had to highlight some things that were just so relatable to like my mother-in-law situation, like writing these little notes um, so it says, the notes started as mundane memos to myself about recipes or grocery lists, but they've become more urgent over the months. My memory is strong. I'm writing these notes preemptively. I'm writing them because I know I'm very old and soon I'll forget. I'll forget all these things that excite me, thrill me, all the things I adore. I'll forget the feelings I felt. Then it will be too late to remember. And I literally have a bunch of these little scraps of paper that my mother-in-law wrote. I'm going to see if I can find them. I kept a bunch of these from my mother-in-law. Just little notes about different things and like phone numbers and how to have white nails and just um, like Bible quotes that she wrote down 
um, more Bible quotes, more Bible quotes, a little prayer, um, like eating pistachios before bed helps with, um, sleep high in melatonin, um, like a face mask recipe or something like that. So I have all these little notes that my mother-in-law wrote and it's true. She writes down everything. So I'm really, although I'm not personally relating to the story, I am relating to the story. I'm just really loving it so far and I'm just flying through it so fast. I'm getting a weird vibe, okay? So, it's about our main character, Penny, who is old. We don't know how old. She could be 70, she could be 80, she could be 90, I don't know. But she never got married, so she just did have a partner that she lived with and her partner had passed away some years ago and she still lives in the same apartment that she's lived in the whole time in the city and you know lives alone but the maintenance guy seems to like check up on her every once in a while and stuff and one day she goes to change a light bulb and she's changing the light bulb and she loses her balance and falls hits her head and uh, passes out and then luckily the maintenance guy of her apartment comes in finds her and is like oh my goodness penny what happened we need to take you to six seaters and she's like you know what and she's like remember you and your partner picked this place out like you chose it because it's in nature and all this so he takes her there they pack up her stuff they store some they pack up other stuff and he takes her to six seaters and drops her off and it's this house where this woman named Shelly kind of runs a long-term, end-of-life kind of care, kind of senior center, but there's only four residents. There were three. With Penny, it's four. And it's Shelly's house. She is kind of the owner of the place. And then there's Jack who like helps her out like an orderly or something. And then there's two other guys and then another lady. And then there's Penny now. And everything seems great. You know, um, of course, it's going to be an adjustment for Penny going from living by herself, all of this independence to being in this kind of facility. Um, so she's adjusting. But now some strange things are happening. Um, there's just like some little tiny red flags going off in the back of my mind as I'm reading it. And I'm like, okay, what's really going on? So I'm definitely interested. I'm definitely intrigued. And I'm wondering where it's going to go from here. I'm still really enjoying the reading experience. I'm really flying through this one. I'll probably be done in the next like hour or so. But it's so interesting. The writing is so different and sporadic. But also it's just telling a whole story. It seems more of like a character driven story. But I actually think it's going to end up being more of a plot driven story. If that makes sense. It probably doesn't. Hello friends. It is the next day. And I just want to wrap up this vlog and let you know that I finished We Spread. It's a very, very quick read. It does have lots of white space. And the audiobook is available on Scribd. So I highly recommend you check it out. This is kind of a hard book to talk about. I was kind of hoping that Summer <laughs> stayed on track with me to read it. But she was in the middle of another book. Um, she's reading a Samantha Downing book. And I love Samantha Downing. So like I totally get it 
but she is gonna read this one next and I can't wait to hear her thoughts because she is an artist and I think that she will really relate to the artist um, messages and themes and topics and conversations that are had in this book. This book just kind of has like a lot going on. It's very unsettling, it's very uneasy, but the thing about Ian Reed is you just don't know at the end. Um, it's kind of left up to the reader what happened or what was going on. And while I like that because it makes for really good discussions and it's a great book to talk about, it also leaves you like, okay, but what really happened? That type of thing. So I really love this cover so much more than I thought I was going to. Um, it makes a lot of sense once you read the book. So I thought that that was really neat. Um, but like I was saying about the blurbs on the back, it is a very hypnotic read. So she goes to Six Cedars and at first she's like, wow, you know, what well, is an adjustment period? But at first she's like, wow, this is going to be great. And then she starts getting eerie vibes of things that are going on. There's three other residents besides her and they all kind of have their little roles within the little community that they have going on. Um, Shelly seems a little off. Penny sees some things that kind of disturb her. But at the same time, Penny has very clearly said that, you know, she knows she's old, her memory isn't what it used to be. So you're kind of like, okay, how reliable is she as the narrator? You know what I'm saying? Um, but the ending is just kind of like shocking. Like it was not what I was expecting at all. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it at the same time. Do I think it's a new all time favorite? kind of i don't think it's a five star read though i think if it's more of a four star read so i think i'm gonna rate we spread by ian reed four stars but this is a hard book to talk about because it's kind of open-ended it's kind of ambiguous um but i did read this really great article um I think it was the tribute that had Ian Reed. I'm gonna link it down in the description box of this video and you can check that out, but highly, highly recommend for a very interesting, weird little book that I think a lot of people will at least be able to pull some type of enjoyment from. So anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day or night and I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye friends.